Hi, I'm Alan. I'm with the plant farm and I wanted to demonstrate to you how to propagate our Maranta or prayer plant cuttings. Maranta uh, is uh, one of the plants that's remotely uh, related to the Calathea family, uh, but we find that the Marantas are a lot easier to propagate. Uh, they're still going to, for the most part, require that we use a root hormone. And so I think probably all of you, if you're interested in propagation, particularly of foliage plants, should make an investment in a small bottle of this. It goes a long way, but it's miraculous in what it does as far as helping you root a plant. So real simply, we, we're gonna just take this cutting and they actually do, if you look, you'll see right here, the just the beginning of a root node here. We call that an adventurous root that's beginning to form. And so that's a relatively easy plant, but we're gonna give it just a little bit of root tone right on that area and then insert it in a moist soil down well past that root or that, uh, that, that little root node. Now this is a little bit bigger cutting. I could take this and, and probably divide it, but I'm not going to. It's, a, it's again, it's a variegated, you notice the variegation in the leaf. Typically we have about uh, three different kinds of prayer plants, sometimes five, but uh, the variegated one, the red one, there's a green one that's very similar with no variegation. And then uh, we've got a little baby uh, prayer plant, as well as uh, sometimes you'll see the one with the black stripes right in the leaves. That's a little more uncommon. And I do have some of that in the greenhouse. We will be making that available on Etsy uh, before too long. But a uh, relatively uh, neat plant and hard to find. Used to be around all the time, but it's uh, uh, kind of cycled out and now it's coming back in. But we'll just go ahead and set this back in, give it a little bit more root tone on that and insert it right there in our pot, stick it down in there quite a ways. If you're ordering uh, cuttings, you typically are gonna get five of our prayer plant or Marana cuttings. Uh, so that right now, I think we've got three in there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, put two more in and you'll see that you legitimately can form a very nice six inch hanging basket using the five Marantas. I've got three on the outside and then I'll put uh, two basically right in the center. So the three go kind of in a triangle pattern. One of the things that we do uh, commercially in the back greenhouse where we grow this stuff all the time, we actually have a pattern for every different type of plant. And particularly when you look at the Maranta, you can see that five cuttings when presented in the pot makes a very nice looking pot. It's gonna take about three weeks for that plant to root in your home. Now this might be a little bit more difficult for you to use that small Ziploc bag, but if you have some of the large gallon Ziploc bags, that would work quite well. You're gonna to wanna to water this pot again, and then they close it up and set it on your windowsill, and monitor it. Make sure that the pot soil itself does not begin to dry out. Very critical in all of our propagation that we maintain a fairly high moisture. All of these plants that we've been talking about, all are foliage plants, they're from the tropics. And so they really do prefer to have a high humidity environment, which you can do simply by putting them in a Ziploc bag until they've rooted up, at which point they're no longer going to require that. I would suspect though three weeks, possibly four, you should be able to take that plant out of the bag and really enjoy it for years to come. Marana plants are awesome. Easy to care for, they're not picky for light, uh, and they just give you years and years of enjoyment. One of the things you might find if you focus in right here uh, on a larger plant like this, if I've got a large plant, I don't necessarily want it to get that big. What I would really like to do is come back underneath, and you can see the underneath side, a little bit rangy looking, but I'm just gonna take my stem, and instead of hacking the top, I'm really just gonna come back in here with my, my snippers, and I'm gonna snip a few limbs right off the lower end here. And uh, yeah, I can do that. I could take those cuttings or throw them away or whatever. But in so doing, if my plant is getting a little bit too big, I can pretty carefully make it smaller without it ever looking like it got a haircut. So that's just a little tip. One of the things that you do want to focus in on, all of your house plants are going to require that you feed them regularly with a well-balanced all-purpose fertilizer. Uh, typically right here at the greenhouse, we're using a Peters blend fertilizer. Uh, sometimes that's Jack's uh, fertilizer, depending on what uh, one. We really do like that 
for a lot of different applications. But generally for our house plants, we just use an all-purpose fertilizer that gives us a fairly high amount of ammoniacal nitrogen. And when you look on a fertilizer bottle, you're going to look at the nitrogen side and say, well, how much fertilizer, how much nitrogen is in this mix? Is it lots of ammoniacal or is it lots of nitrate or is it a blend of the two? And what we use here is a blend of the two. And it gives us a good, strong, healthy, well-branched green plant. There's a few tips for you on how to take care of your house plants and how to propagate your prayer plant. I'm Alan with The Plant Farm, and I really hope that you enjoy uh, your time as you spend propagating a plant material.